Hello everybody, so we're going to talk about Jeremy's massive 25 minute long video defending himself and also criticizing Josh Ling, otherwise known as the head developer of Adopt Me, and basically just exposing them for the things that they misconstrued inside of their entire video and blog post. But of course, before you guys watch this video, make sure you guys go ahead and like it because I did stay up and it's currently 4 a.m. I'm just trying to make this video for you guys to get out all the information and to make sure I get my opinion out there. So. Make sure you guys just go ahead and drop a like and subscribe if you enjoy my content and want to see more. And of course, check out my other videos on Jeremy because those videos are also really good on this topic. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Now, of course, I really want to give my criticisms to Jeremy first. So inside of his video, he blatantly talks about how this is extremely petty. Now, he says this multiple times, different times throughout the entire video. And I find this kind of weird because instead of this same video, he also says this is defamation and they're lying about him but at the same time it's petty and doesn't matter that much not to mention he's willing to take them to court over this so really it's not petty to him and he's just obviously using that to seem more put together than he actually is not only that but jeremy also throughout the entire video says multiple times that they made money off of defaming him and basically trying to destroy his entire career that has to be the dumbest thing i've ever heard because if you check jeremy's video it's also monetized so he's just being a hypocrite right there before you say hey i didn't get any ads it's because he turned them off and if you guys check the, the comments someone made a comment on it and they said jeremy also monetized the video and 60 people liked it so it's obvious that i'm not the only one that's getting ads and pretty much everybody got ads before they were turned off now next we're going to be moving on to his takes on the lead developer now he did a ton of criticisms to the lead developer otherwise known as josh ling and he went after him in this video and i mean went after him he looked up old tweets about him, etc. And we're just going to be showing them right now. So, on Twitter, Jeremy brags about having tough skin and being able to withstand criticism and people just hating on him and giving him a hard time in emails, etc. He says he just mutes them and moves on. However, as you guys know, if you guys read the blog post, he constantly says that Jeremy downgraded his mental health and a ton of people were attacking him and he really could not handle it. So, why would he boast? about having thick skin if you cannot handle somebody hitting on him. It makes no sense. Also, if you're being harassed by Jeremy and his fans, why are you constantly tweeting about him? Like, that's the equivalent of getting a restraining order on somebody and then constantly wanting to go to their house. It makes no sense. For instance, this is one of his tweets about Jeremy. He calls him a liar and says that Adopt Me isn't actually dead or dying. In my opinion, that tweet was just completely unnecessary. For instance, if I told Piggy's developer that hey piggy is dying they would not care at all because it doesn't matter and it doesn't affect the players in your game just by somebody saying it's dying it's not necessary for you to tweet at them saying they're a liar just because they say your game is getting less players it makes no sense even though he is a huge youtuber just because he says the game is dying does not mean less people will start playing it it could possibly affect that but it would be so minuscule that it wouldn't really do anything at all especially if you have him blocked why are you tweeting at him saying his opinion of the game dying matters, basically? You're giving him validation. Now, Jeremy also exposes that Joss has lied to some of his tweets. For instance, he said, To the people saying I should be fired because a YouTuber told them, basically, Jeremy never told anybody you should be fired. Now, personally, I haven't seen this at all. You posted no evidence of this. I'm not sure if you're talking about a different YouTuber. If you are, then that's fine. But if you're talking about Jeremy, Jeremy never said that. Obviously, you posted no proof proof of it so it's innocent until proven guilty if i don't see any evidence then i have to assume that he did not say it of course this would make josh ling the liar now the last point jeremy makes against josh is basically him giving backhand compliments to different games and at the same time boasting himself up for instance with arsenal he tweeted out saying in summary he said congrats arsenal but then after that he said we should have probably shared the voting link a few more times now it's obviously a joke but at the same time it's kind Kind of backhanded and wasn't necessary really now let's go ahead and move on to where adopt me in general on the blog post lie so adopt me uses the proof and evidence that he was banned before for buying adopt me pets off site by saying and using his previous bans on roblox now he used his moderator note and him saying inside of the video he doesn't know why he got banned however jeremy uses the excuse of him getting banned as he traded 
limited with his girlfriend and then Roblox banned him for that. Now it's obvious that that's probably true and I would give him the benefit of the doubt of that because you really have no evidence supporting you. Because back then he, he wasn't even buying Adopt Me Pets off the black market or off eBay or whatever he was buying them from. Basically instead of the blog post whenever it was summarizing him and the entire situation where he made the quitting Adopt Me video, they said that he never apologized. When he showed proof and of course receipts that he obviously had sent them each a message saying that he's apologized and especially Beism, he sent them a message saying that he was sorry. So really he did apologize and they all knew this because they all got the notification obviously and they just lied about that to make him seem worse. Now instead of the video, Jeremy also does make a defense for him using his audience to contact the people who basically run Adopt Me, you know, the lead developer, etc. He told his fans to at them on Twitter and then his fans harassed them. Now obviously I do think he did this in bad faith but in the end he said it was a joke so I kind of want to take his word for it but at the end of the day we really don't know what happened and we can't tell if he had bad intentions or didn't have bad intentions when he told them to go and message them. So yeah that's about it. That's basically all Jeremy's points. Now I probably left out a few because the video was just so long. I really couldn't comprehend a lot of it because just how much unneeded information he was adding in in my opinion. So yeah I think I got everything correctly. Jeremy did really expose some of the Adopt Me stuff on there and how they lied on some stuff and that's pretty sad considering how big of a company they are and how they were just trying to cover stuff up and make them seem worse than they actually is. Now of course Jeremy is not completely innocent himself. He's done a lot of bad things. He of course apologized for a lot of them inside of the video so I highly suggest you go and check out the video because I could not fit everything into this video because I really wanted to make it like more concise and short than Jeremy's. So yeah thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys like and like the video and make sure you guys join my discord down below follow me on twitter and yeah subscribe for more most importantly like the video though and comment down your opinion on jeremy after this video do you think he's better or do you think he's worse and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and goodbye got my eyes on a computer screen trying to work my digits in i fidget with my lettering but never with my sentences i pause and check the clock and it appears it's 6 a.m again another night wasted or another day finished and my mind is steady running in place i don't want to fall asleep because i got so much to say but i don't want to stay awake and keep exhaustion